Let's make this project left-handed. Need more detail on completing a virus blanket? Welcome to my nine-part series on stitch by stitch, round by round of completing a virus blanket. Let's make it. Ciao friends, got the thimble hooks back again for part five of my stitch by stitch, round by round tutorial for the virus blanket. We are going to do round seven. We're going to do the last round right in here before we change colors. So we're going to do this right in here all the way around and I will show you how. So here's my trick. The same trick we used last time, you find your last double crochet from the previous round, which is this stitch right here, and count back nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and let's mark that stitch. Just so it's easy to find in a moment. So again, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Because now we're going to chain three which counts as our first double crochet, plus one, because in between every double crochet is a chain for round seven. So there's a double crochet, chain one. So now we have two. Double crochet and chain one. There's three, double crochet number four and a chain. Double crochet number five and chain. Double crochet number six and a chain. Number seven, number eight, number nine and a chain. And in our very last one, we're going to do a double crochet, but no chain because it's not in between anything. We're at the end. So once you have this one, this one's all down where you have your ten. One, oh, I can take out this marker. We don't need that anymore. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you know that your first fan is correct, so you don't have to undo the whole thing if you only got nine or you accidentally put in eleven. So now we're going to jump over here. We're going to cross over this whole chain three space. Normally we put normally we work into this. We're not going to anymore. We're going to run over or jump all the way over to our very first double crochet in the next fan and double crochet all the way around. So again, we're going to double crochet. There's our first chain, double crochet in that next fan. So double crochet in the top of him and a chain one. So there's number one. Double crochet number two and a chain one. There's number three and a chain one. Four, chain one. Five, chain one. Six, chain one. Seven, chain one. Eight, chain one, nine, and a chain, ten, and a chain, eleven, chain, twelve, chain, thirteen, chain, fourteen, Chain, fifteen, chain, sixteen, chain, seventeen, see, seventeen, chain, eighteen, chain, nineteen, and that's our last chain because this is number twenty and we're only doing chains in between our double crochet stitches. Double crochet stitches. Get some more yarn. 
running out of this little remnant. But I should be able to finish. That's good. Now, just like we did before, we're not going to work into this at all. Like we have been in previous rounds, this one gets skipped. So you're going to jump straight over into your very f the top of your very first double crochet in this fan. Double crochet, chain one. There's number two in a chain. Number three and a chain. Number four and a chain. Number five and a chain. Six and chain. Seven chain. Eight and a chain. Nine chain. Ten chain, 11, chain, 12, chain, 13, chain, 14, chain, 15, chain, 16, chain, 17, chain, 18, chain 19 and a chain that's our last chain because now we're going to work into the very last double crochet and we're only putting chains in between the double crochets. So we did an increase by adding all of these chains. There's the first half of this one. There's a full corner. There's a full corner. And we're going to do this corner. This is our last last whole corner. So again, round seven is almost done. Don't do this was easy. It's easy and fast. It works up really quick. So we jump over here. Remember, we're going to skip this space. Nothing goes on in here in this particular round. We're just going to jump straight over to this next set of fans, find your first double crochet from the previous round, and work a double crochet into the top of it, and a chain. There's number two, and a chain, all the way around, three, and a chain, four, chain, Five, chain, six, chain, seven, and a chain, eight, and a chain, nine, chain, ten, chain, eleven, chain, 12, chain, 13, chain, 14, chain, 15, chain, 16, oops, 16, chain, 17, chain, 18, chain, 19, and there's our last chain because we only put them in between the double crochets. So our last double crochet, number 20, goes in the top of the last one from the previous round of that fan. So there is our third complete corner. One, two, three complete. We just have to finish our original where we started, right here. We just have to finish this corner. And round seven is done. So again, 
We don't work into this chain 3 space in this round. Round 7 does not get the chain 3 space worked like normal. We're just going to jump straight across and double crochet into the first double crochet from this fan. Make sure you're in the first double crochet and not down in here anywhere. There's your double crochet. So right here, double crochet, chain one. There's double crochet number two and a chain. Number three and a chain. Four and a chain. There's number five and a chain. Number six and a chain. Number seven and a chain. Number eight, chain. Number nine, chain. And there's ten. And we still want a chain because technically this would be the chain that's in between stitch number 10 and 11 for this corner. Just happens that we started halfway through. So just like all of these are nice and round and nice and arced, right in here. This one is separated right now. So we just want to slip stitch into the third chain, leaving the chain, the fourth chain as the chain one space. So right here, just do a slip stitch like we did in the previous rows. Now, this corner is just as rounded as the other three. All right, so there's round seven. Round seven is complete. Thanks for stopping by and seeing part five of my stitch by stitch, round, round by round virus blanket. See, it looks like a tiny virus blanket, and I told you it was easy. It really, really is. Uh, so next time, we will do round eight in part six, and we'll change colors, and we'll start a little bit more. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my, my small business. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when the next part comes out. Tell all your friends, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.